Eagles. Jackie, Leslie and George are back again today to give a chance to those they deem worthy of the ultimate price to export their products and services beyond the borders of Zimbabwe. A good day to you, Eagles. My name is Clive Nyapogoto. I am a farmer from Marondera. Actually, I can say I'm an organic farmer. I'm into, into growing of herbs and spices. Herbs and spices, I can say, they are among the topmost products that are adulterated in the world. And hence, most people, when they are consuming food that is prepared with spices, they complain of stomach problems. This is because the compounds are added into herbs and spices. People tend to add compounds because the weight of herbs when they are dried or spices when they are dried, it shrinks a lot. And then they want to get more value out of it. What I'm producing is 100% organic herbs produced using organic material and hence no additive is added. They are pure and they are, they are, they, they are organic and the person can actually consume them without having any problems. I'm growing these and selling them locally but I'm looking into expanding into export markets. They have been growing demand of herbs, especially if you can see some of my symbols, they are herbal teas, which I've managed to, to make. Due to the COVID-19, people have changed their dietary requirements to consume more herbs, more spices, to enhance their immune system, because they believe herbs have got chemical compounds that help boost the immune system. I'm currently working on a five hectare plot, which I'm expanding my operations in Marondera, and also working in, on an outgrower scheme whereby I'll be outsourcing from other neighboring community farmers so that I boost my production. Water has been a challenge, has been a challenge to us because we are, only, we are currently relying on rain-fed agriculture. If we manage to have a bow, I think we will increase our production and meet our export demand. Tell me, um, what is your shelf life for your products? They are between two to three years when dried. Okay. Uh, I see on your branding um, there isn't any um, dates written. Yeah. Um, how long have you been in business? Uh, I've, I've been in business since 2017. Okay. That's when I started my prototyping and research and managed to have my first product in the market in 2019. So how do we know how old these products are? Because I don't, I don't see any manufactured date, yes. expiry date. Um, they don't have a date, so how do we know if these are still? Uh, our, we are still working on our branding and packaging, and these are like our prototype samples which I've brought here. Uh, we, 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 we hope to get those incorporated in the in the barcodes that you are seeing on the on the packaging because when they are exported now people are uh, using smart smart technology i can say smartphones to just scan and get the data of they require the data of who the farmer is where it was grown how it was grown and the location of the farm with no shelf life dates on all his products questionable capacity it's not looking too good for clive but uh, maybe he can still win jackie let's wait and see my concerns are at the way you're farming. You want to be an exporter. Yes. There are processes that lead up to that. First of all, you're talking about working with other farmers. Yes. You're in five hectares because you'll need everybody else for capacity. That's yes. one. Are you in greenhouses? Yes, I've paid for a 900 square meter greenhouse. And actually, not only do I grow these in a soil based system, but I'm an aquaponics farmer. I was one of the pioneers of aquaponics in Zimbabwe. If you are talking of aquaponics, we are talking of an organic farming technology that utilizes fish waste to grow crops in a hydroponic system. Unlike hydroponics, where you are using artificial nutrients, we are saying the fish waste, the fish water with the fish pool are supplying nutrients to your crops, hence we remain in the organic bracket. It's a water-wise system, no weeding, no digging. Apart from just harvesting the herbs, we are also harvesting the fish. Okay, all right. What, what inroads or what have you done to date to get global gap certification and organic certification um, to I'm allow in, you to export? I'm in touch with Ecoset that is in South Africa mm -hmm. so that I, can, I get a chemical-free certificate and also in the process of 
getting the soil tested so that they get to say, no, this soil has got no chemical residues. Why do you call yourself a social entrepreneur? Uh, I base mostly on helping to change people's lives. I like you have got a model, a, a, a functional ecosystem. Thank you. The supply side is well taken care of. The market side is well taken care of. Probably what you now need to play around is the production part, yes, of which so. to me, you have a business model, I would say. Uh, but probably there is no need for you to improve on a number of things. Uh, number one, probably the branding, because you are you have four WhatsApp groups that are full yes. where you are educating people. Mm -hmm. Also transfer the education on the packaging so that people can really understand, can read and understand yes. some of the uh, properties yes. or some of the attributes that these products have. So I think on the branding, there are a lot of issues that needs to be done uh, in terms of information because your market is based on information. Yes, yes, yes. The more information they get, the more better informed, the more better the sales are yes. for you. Yes. So I think there's a lot that needs to be done in terms of information. But I think you also need to then quicken the process of getting the certification yes. so that the claims are substantiated with valid there's validity on the claims. Thank you so much. Okay, so it's a yes for me to go to the next. Thank you. Having charmed the foodpreneur with his herbs sets his sights on Jackie. For me, it's understanding the ultimate objective. You've got beautiful product, I, I don't doubt. Thank you. You are looking to export both fresh and dry produce. Thank you. The, the mechanics behind that are intense. I've been fortunate to be exposed to them. So when I look at the timeline of whoever wins, maybe I'll give you a chance to answer um, this. Are you, do you believe you can get this business globally, a global gap certified in 12 months? Yes, I do. I think I've, I've covered most of the work. I'm, a, I'm going to give you a chance. Thank but you. what it is, it's going to need you to raise significant capital. Do you own the land you're on? Yes, I do. Okay. So it's going to need significant capital. So I'll say yes. However, I'm not sure you will be ready in 12 months. That's the truth. But I think you, you've made inroads, you've got good product. And are you Zappo certifi certified? No. The local one? No. So those are some of the hurdles that you need to get done in 12 months. So yes. just from that, it's a, it's a reluctant yes, but... Thank I'll, you I'll so much. All right, congratulations, Clive. You've got two yeses, and um, I'm going to give you a yes, too. Thank you. And um, I think you've got a couple of judges to prove uh, that you can be able to do this in 12 months. So I consider you really take the mentorship seriously, and you really step flat foot on the pedal. And uh, these judges, you can tell, you were going through a lot of questions because they're trying to understand you. Yeah. So they do believe in you. I believe in you too. So you've got three judges to prove that yes, I am able to change in 12 months to become, um, you know, the best that you can be. Really work on your branding. That manufactured and expiry date is important. Thank you. Trust so you much. me. But congratulations, and uh, you're on to the next round. I thank you. Sure, sure. Thank you. Does the resurrection tea really resurrect you? <laughs> I can say no, this is fine. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, thank thank you. you. <laughs>
We have a website, YouTube channel, Facebook page, Twitter, and Instagram. So as we market online, then we reach more people comes from uh, outside the country. But mostly Zimbabwe, they have uh, family and friends here in Zimbabwe, but in different cities. So we have a challenge of uh, export our products like if someone in the outside of the country ordered a cake from us and need to be delivered, uh, like here in Harare. That is the big challenge we are faced right now. But mostly we use our buses to transport our, our products. Thank you, Finus. Thank you so much. We're going to ask you some questions about your, your business. Okay. I wanted to know what what do you understand Zim Trade will help you achieve if you won and what that will do for your for your business? What I what do you understand Zim Trade will help you achieve uh -huh. if you won this competition? And what will that do for your business? Okay. Uh, uh, maybe I Okay. Okay, ndoja murukuta sita kuti muno kuhansa kubatsirwa. Ya, ne zvimwe ozva mungade kuti betsera kana if it is possible. Wo kunzwisa kwako. Mhm. Pawa uya. Zim trade inoita nezve. Ah, takangwa nezva yekuti inoita nezve ah kubetsera vanhu ma projects evanenge vai nawo. Nechichi Okay. Can I could train business successful Um yeah, how many cakes do you sell a month? Let me start for uh, per week. Uh, I know we do um, uh, 37 cakes or 40 cakes per week. So per month? Per month it is times four plus or minus. Okay. Yeah. How much are you getting from the cakes? Per month. Per month? Yes. Um, all total or before uh, expenses or after. Over to you, Josh. Um, fine, how are you? I'm fine, and you should go Yeah, this was good. Sakama Keka would want to take a cup or would take a market ip. Quamtare or would take some Zimbabwe mess. A market said, do mostly want to take a salam tare or local. Um, I feel fine. Uh, did not give us enough details about the business. Okay. You did not give us your capacity, your current capacity. You did not give us your needs. How much do you need or what kind of equipment do you need? And you did not really give us a full appreciation about your understanding of the market. Uh, so by virtue, I think uh, Finot needs to be a bit more structured and a bit more business-centric in his approach. So for me, say no. George? Uh, Finals, I, I love your business because I love cakes. For me, um, it's a no. Um, Finals, from my feedback to you, and I'll speak in Shona for your benefit because it, your growth matters. So from where I am, I business rako 
riri aligned say ne ne zvido zva mauya kuzo kuzo kombita panapo okay. tichikuda kuti vanhu va export a product yao wanga chifana kuti taurira kuti business rako kana rashika panapo iwewe waona market yakaita sei kunze wa research oere kuti kuna ma company ari kutoita in mu mune zvaunoita zvekubika uh, makeke kuti vamwe vari kuzvito vari kuita sei uye nepambo taurwa na George kuti market yacho kwa unenge uchiende sande kupi chicha aita kuti udaro uri kushowa hako kuti une potential yekuunza uh, forex inflows out of ma diaspora purchases are kuitwa nevanhu for hamadza wodzi rimunomo uh, with that you already have ma no two so it knows what one business school and but thank you very much we would have loved to test my cake up now what to bomb jan hello egos my name is colin moyo founder of our varied solutions we are into manufacturing of ester based transformer oil hydraulic oil, uh, transmission oil and gear oil. Uh, we started our operations in 2015. That's when we had our first product. And the product has been tested by uh, relevant authorities here in Zimbabwe, which include uh, Standards Association of Zimbabwe, uh, ZTTDC. Uh, the oil has been also supplied to other private players, which are also consuming the, pro uh, the product as, as, as we speak. And we are also looking into our regional market because we have also sent uh, some samples to some of the regional players and they are happy with our product. Here locally, we have engaged companies like uh, Zimplats, Unki, they are happy with our product, uh, ABB uh, and ZTTDC. Uh, to date, we have sold uh, at least 500 grams of the transformer oil to private players and we are looking to engage to the national utility so that we can expand our, our, um, our production. Uh, the oil is 100% organic uh, and uh, fireproof. Uh, you'd find that in Zimbabwe we have a problem of uh, fires in the in the transformers, fire explosions, and uh, it, it can also be tinted to a specific tint as per user need. I uh, would find that with uh, ZTTDC they requested that they should have a, their specific tint to discourage vandalism of the transformer oil from the transformers. And we are looking forward to quench the um, shortage that is in Zimbabwe of at least 5 million liters of transformer oil uh, in Zimbabwe alone and uh, reduce uh, the import bill and also expand on the export bill. We are the second company in Africa to be manufacturing this same product uh, uh, which is 100% uh, organic, fireproof and it has got higher dielectric strength. Thank you. This is interesting. Is this, is this the oil people's deal? Yes, that is, that is, this is the oil. Okay. Yes. And you say you're the second... Uh, company in Africa? Yes. And what is the first company and how much are they producing? Uh, it's Kagyu. They are okay. producing 6 million liters per year. Uh, that, that is a British owned, owned company in South Africa. And which markets are they serving? They are serving South Africa as we speak. Uh, they have been exported much into other countries in the region and uh, they've been exporting also to Zambia but in smaller quantities because they, their capacity is not matching their demand as well. Do, do the transformers need to be re-engineered to no. be able to, to take on the organic oil? No, it doesn't have to be re-engineered. It actually, it's also mixable with the mineral, existing mineral oil. This one, the vegetable as oil. As a well. top-up? Sorry? As a top-up? As a top-up, yes. Oh, okay, that's, that's interesting. With that much experience and research, Jackie wonders why Colin is here. Actually, um, I'm looking forward to build uh, our, our capacity and our regional force. We, we, we would realize that uh, since we are one of the few companies which are producing this, there is need and uh, taste for our transformer oil outside Zimbabwe, and the world is moving towards uh, green solutions. What is the market capacity externally, and do you have any leads? Yes, of course, any leads. Um, last year, we, uh, as we were just sending a, 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 a sample to Zesco in Zambia, uh, and then they requested that we should uh, give them uh, 100 grams of the transformer oil as, a, as for them to see if we can really meet their capacity. So originally in Africa, we are looking at 5 million liters per year as a, an export. I just need to understand something from your certificate of analysis. Yes. Um, can you help me interpret it? Okay. 
Uh, just, just probably let's talk about the the, the, the areas where uh, it's psychod red. All right. What, what is it trying to say to us? Uh, when we when we are uh, are putting a transformer oil in, in the in the system, there are parameters which have to be tested before it is uh, uh, used, like dielectric strength. Uh, is the strength which, which it can withstand without breaking. So basically, uh, with the conventional, the, the dielectric strength is around 45 to 50, but ours is 72, which is exceeding even the limit. And also it means it is good, it is better than the other one. And then there's the moisture content. You would find that uh, the time when you are servicing the transformers or even in your switch gears, you don't need much of oil with uh, moisture. And ours has got uh, lower moisture content. And uh, at the flash point, uh, ours has got higher flash point, which makes it fireproof. So those are the uh, most of the uh, uh, highlights of which are indicated there. What is the cost of producing your oil vis-a-vis -vis the normal oils that we know? Because I know a 500 mil of oil is around 6 to $10. Yes. And what is the cost of producing your oil and how much are you selling it for? Uh, cost of producing one liter is $1.58. And then we are selling at two dollars eighty-eight per liter. So it has got better properties, but it is also cheaper to manufacture. To manufacture, yeah. Since we are, we are procuring everything locally here in Zimbabwe. Okay. Yes. So how much did you say is your current capacity? Uh, we are selling it uh, uh, hundred grams per month. Hundred. Hundred grams. That's 210, 210 liters. Same hundred grams. Tell me, if I was to give you a hundred thousand US dollars today. Oh, yes. Uh, how would you use that? Can you give me a breakdown okay. in terms of to improve your efficiency in terms of your demand and supply? Okay. Can you break it down as in exactly how you'd use it? Okay, um, I would use it uh, first we've got what we call international certification. Uh, that one would allow us to sell to anyone without even defending much of the product. So that one would even allow us to export the product even internationally. So we want to have international certification, and then we want to have... Uh, Can to you put a cost to it? Uh, that's 20,000 US dollars. Okay. And then we want to capacitate our operations, mechanize our operations. You'll find we went to Zimplatz, and they said, no, we are actually looking for a product in South Africa, but we have to invite our technical director to come to for your, op to your operations. And then we realized that we might uh, shoot ourselves in the foot, and then we stopped them, because our operations were not really mechanized, and yeah, we are still operating at a miniature uh, stage so we'd want to buy machinery at 40,000 US dollars and then the other 40,000 would have enough talk so that would supply to every customer which comes because you'd find that there are customers we say we want yeah, 20 drums right now and then we don't have anything in stock because we'd want to have an order and then we go and look for money and then we come back to produce so some of the customers they would come and ask for 50 drums yet you've got only five drums in your stock okay um all right Colin I'm just gonna give my um my conclusion to you. Um, yes. I like your product. I think it's 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 a very brilliant idea. Uh, one thing about your branding, I'm not happy with. It doesn't have you know technical information. It looks plain, and I think you can do a lot better on that. Because I think uh, um, even though you are a young business, I think it's important because branding is everything. If you're going to pitch to people, you need to at least make your sample look the part. Uh, for international standards. Yes. So for me, uh, I love your concept. I think it's a very good idea. And I think with the mentorship that this program will give you, um, I'm giving you a thumbs up, I'm giving you a yes, and I'm sure that uh, you can make this business become exactly what we're looking for. So a yes from me. Okay. Jackie. It's a yes from me. Thank you. And I would say find a partner quickly with Thank capital. You. I believe you're onto something. Thank you. Yeah, well, it's it's a big yes from me. Okay. Why? Because of the ingenuity around this concept and probably the price point. So to me, it's sounding like a viable venture. Um, however, probably I think you now need people who can assist you in terms of structuring your business. Because I think the stage at which you are it's, 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 it's a stage that just needs you to understand or that needs you to meet up with people that can capacitate you so that this thing can be a, a, a fruitful venture. Your customers can be a good base. They can actually advance you if they are really keen about getting the product. 
they can give you the money and in advance for you to produce and give them the product so uh, i think from me uh, it's a yes and i think you are up to uh, something very viable and interesting a resounding yes from all three eagle sees colin through the main task now for colin is to find a financial partner and with the help from the eagles the future can only get better for him